All right, now we're gonna talk about adding templates to an activity. So there's a couple of things I wanna show you first before we actually do it. So again, in order to do this, you're signed in as a teacher, you're tapping that green add button, create or share activity. When you get inside your library, you're choosing create new activity, but this is where um, on your activity creation page, you are going to add that template. Now, what happens when you click on there, you have tons of choices for adding a template, right? So you can add a photo, you can add you know, a photo on your computer via add file, you could do a drawing, all sorts of these things. Um, I want to let you know about one thing though. So with templates that are image files, and I'm talking about PNG, JPEG screenshots or photos, your students are going to be able to record their voice draw on them and add labels. So keep that in mind. If you want your students to do that, it has to be one of these formats when you are adding the templates. Therefore, if you add a template as a PDF, for example, your students are only going to be able to record their voice and actually add a caption, but they can't draw on the image, they can't add labels to the image, so make sure you kind of keep that in mind. Now let's get started. So because we're gonna add a template, let's, I, I think it's a good idea to start with photo. So I have called out two things here on the screen. Now, if you choose the camera photo option on the top left, that's gonna open the camera or webcam on your device. If you choose add file on the bottom, you're gonna be able to add a photo from your computer. And like I said, because I am on a MacBook right now, Presenting to you, I'm actually going to choose add file because I have my picture already there. So here we go. We're going to go back into our class. We're getting ready to create an activity and we are going to be adding a template. All right. So in this example, um, in my classroom, we were doing a science experiment. Okay. And I captured the setup the, of the experiment so that after we were done, students could draw and annotate and reflect on that instead of trying to have to take their own photo and whatnot. So I'm gonna call this third law of motion, okay? And again, we already talked about adding these fancy icons, but this is a little bit older class, so I'm gonna say tap the add button. I'm gonna go down here to add template for student responses. So here we go, I'm actually going to add a photo that I have on my computer. So here we go, I'm gonna select it from my computer and here's my photo of my rocket balloon experiment. So I'm gonna tap the green check. And of course I could add my voice instructions, I could add an example. I'm actually gonna leave that blank right now um, and I'm gonna tap save. Now you'll notice, there it is. Because I didn't add an example, the template is gonna show up in that place. So keep that in mind, but I'm going to share this to my class. Again, I'm gonna tap the green share button. I'm gonna add it. I'm just gonna share to me, sample student, because I like playing around with this. All right, I'm gonna go back into my class. Now, because we added a template, when I tap this green add button on the activity as a student, and I choose my name, ta-da, there is my template, okay? That means I can draw on this, okay? I'm gonna explain the direction that it moved, right? It didn't go that way. I'm gonna add some labels. Okay, I can do all sorts of things on top of this. I can record my voice as a student, okay? So that is adding a photo template, right? So I'm gonna go back, tap on my green check because I'm submitting my activity response, but I'm gonna show you another option here for a template as well. So if I tap the green add button, create a share activity, we talked about a photo template. What if I went here and I'm just gonna say um, drawing template is gonna be the name of this activity. I'm gonna go to template for students and I'm just gonna choose drawing and guess what? We are gonna do um, 
I have another example of a word sort, but we're gonna just do a word sort right here. We're do, gonna do at and am words. This is not fancy, but it's okay. If you're just starting out and you're thinking, oh my gosh, how could I do this? Ignore my, ignore my line, right? I'm gonna add some words down here. I'm gonna say can, I'm gonna say, um, I don't know, Sam, who knows, okay? So you could, as a teacher, have all these words stacked, and then as students, as students go into this activity, because this is a template, they're gonna be able to move all of those labels around. 